Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the second episode with the uh, storage unit with all the uh, musical uh, music instruments. So um, yeah, last night um, I finished uh, after I, I took everything I had to take to the thrift store. I I had a weird feeling about the unit just because of that person that who uh, there was a person who just showed up while I was working there and uh, you know curious eyes. Anyway, so I went back and um, I picked up a few items, mainly the guitars, and uh, I want to show you that little thing that was in the corner. Remember I told you it's maybe a generator? Yes, it is. Look at this. Uh, it's an older model. But look at this. This is a, a JD4000, so it should be able to pour out. Uh, uh, bring in 4,000 watts up to 4,000 watts but this is kind of an older model so look at this uh, hmm, let me see if I have a light here here we go you can see a little debris in there yeah so it's it's, it's dirty I don't know how long it has been sitting there. The tank is maybe rusted out, so... Yeah, the other thing, the guitar, the acoustic guitars. Uh, the acoustic guitars, they're not great brands really, but they all have this problem. Yeah, so, because they were sitting with the, um, with the cords very tight for a very long time. So, let's you go around. Yeah, so I did bring in this, uh, I think this is a sound equalizer, uh, PV, uh, all the guitars I had there, uh, the amps, this is the custom amp, uh, the other one, Laurel, uh, the welder, welder machine, and the umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, those were just like a, a small addition, but, uh, but anyway, so I just want to start with this quick update. It's mainly because of generator because I already removed it from the units. So I just want to show you what it, what it was and uh, Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I have some Errands to finish and when I go back to the unit, I uh, will get back to you guys. All right. Have a good one All right guys Got back to the unit been here for about an hour an hour and something uh, I put anything here. That's um, vintage audio stuff and of course, I didn't, didn't actually uh, pick up the speakers yet. So yeah, you can see the uh, uh, the audio mixers and uh, pretty much all the other ones. There is a few VHS players. And yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a lot. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna go to the second part of going through the clothing. Uh, so far it has been 24 hour, I have not sold anything, all the furniture is still here. Uh, there were very few people interested. Yeah, this is all clothing, the tubs, and okay, the light is not that great, I thought the flash on the phone will do any good. But anyway, the speakers, you can see there's some Technic here. And Let's see, Technics, and this one is Technics as well. But, uh, all right, let's get to the clothing. It is plenty of it. I honestly underestimated it. But, uh, okay, let's see what we got here. And by the way, today I just got the uh, chest strap for the GoPro so yay all right so typically I am I keep all the jeans because I have like to sell them in bundles what is this new look fashion looks nice kind of oh this is empty bag 
All right, we're gonna use this one. Okay. Uh, uh, that was a tingly boots. Okay, this is not clothing. There's some accessories. Okay, let's put that stuff aside. So I did learn a little bit more about the uh, person who owned the unit. He's actually from Ghana. And he passed away about two years ago. Not sure how this whole thing drags for so long, but yeah. Apparently most of the stuff that you see in this unit he used to okay. That actually <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. I don't think that's gonna sell. Alright. Looks like a yeah, so he buys stuff, get a whole semi, uh, not semi, but probably like a uh, stuff to go in a container, and then he will send them, uh, send them to Nigeria. Okay, this we can keep. So he's an international reseller. Okay, this stuff I need all the bedding stuff. Yeah, this stuff can go to the thrift store. Okay, I see some leather. Well, some leather. I think some leather is not bad. Um, just making sure there's no damage. Okay, I'll have to reinspect this stuff later. Another leather jacket. Power park, Korea. Oh, I think this one goes with that. What is this? Oh, it can be cleaned. I think it goes with that uh, that vest. First item I picked up. This one is pretty rough. Yeah, this is not. This is not a good leather. Okay, how about this one? The word or the word. A little bit of French. This one, I think it's maybe, it said 100% leather, 100% polyester. I assume the polyester is the inside, outside is leather. Okay, this one we keep. It's a little bit of an old style. Not something. Oh, cowboys, this is a vintage jacket. Okay, this is good. Now I'll have to just put this one on the side. That way I'll just throw them in the corner. Organize them later. Okay. What kind of jeans are these? Jinko jeans. Okay. Oh. I got more jeans. Wait. This one doesn't have a name. Ah, oh, straight device. Five or five. Okay. Nope. Yeah, the thing with the storage unit that have like vintage stuff, there is always possibility to find some vintage t-shirts. Yeah, this is not vintage, this is just... Oh, this is like the karate... Okay, I don't know, I think this stuff may actually sell. Is it just that? Yeah, there's a soccer ball. And, okay, I want this. Keep them together. Okay. 
This one we keep. This one. No. Nope. One can go to the fifth floor. No. Interesting colors. What is this? Barabas? Or. Yeah, Barabas. Oh, regular 110. 59.95. Okay, this one we're keeping. Nope. Man, this is this is supposed to be a climate control unit. What is this thing? <laughs> Brooks Brothers. Yeah, it's supposed to be a climate control unit. And it's not. Oh no, Levi. Oh, this is an old style jacket. Uh, Carlo Briani. Made in China. Okay, we're gonna keep this one. Uh, some underwear and no, this stuff. Get it. Let's open this one now. Uh, no. Sweatpants. USA. This penny is exclusive. We tell you. Yes. Oh. Well. USA, you know what? We're gonna keep this one. Throw away that red t shirt. Uh, sorry, I had to cut that video short for a little bit. The neighbor next door started asking questions. He did see the, the drums here, drums and the keyboards, and he asked me what I'm gonna be doing with them, and I told him, well, I'm gonna be selling them. It's like, oh well, I know this uh, Pastor Bishop. Oh, by the way, look at this jeans, 2G. It's very really nice. Oh, sorry. And uh, it's like, yeah, sure. Let he was like, yeah, let me give him a call. Look at this. This is really vintage. Yeah, this is leather. And it's real leather too, so it's the brand name, Mesa Ridge. Interesting. Anyway, he called and I was like, hey Bishop, you still need a couple of keyboards and a drum? I was like, yeah. I, it's like, and he told him, hey, the guy next door, he got them and he got uh, some guitars and uh, music instruments and stuff. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want all of them. It's like, oh, sure. It's like, yeah, that sounds good. Abercrombie, this is vintage Abercrombie. It's like, oh, well, that sounds like music to my ears. Anyway, he passed me the phone and uh, told him, yeah, there's some different kind of musical instruments. There's some speakers, some uh, uh, keyboards. There's like seven of them. Some guitars, electric guitars, I'll bring them back tomorrow. If you want. It's like, yeah, sure, I will take them all and I'll get you... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll get you sorted out for... Uh, it's called... Uh, tax writable. And I was like, what? <laughs> uh, that was the time when I was handing the guy his phone back. And he was like, oh yeah, tomorrow is just set up a time and I'll be there at 4 o'clock. I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute, can you please tell him that I am trying to sell them, not donating them? And yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, I'm gonna bring my the, the truck and and get them all. And I, and I told him, can you please just just tell him, just to confirm, so there's no misunderstanding. Uh, then he was like, oh, uh, okay, uh, all right, uh, how much? I was like, you know what, let's. 
Here, just leave it until tomorrow. Let me get you everything here. American Eagle Outfitters. And then we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about the money. So, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the car and unload the uh, music uh, table mixers. Uh, tomorrow I'll bring back the guitars. At least the electric guitars. I'll bring them back. And uh, hopefully I'll make the money of this unit tomorrow. All right, sorry. 24. What is this? Vo it. No. Sorry, I kept going through while I was talking to him. That's why I'll be finished the other tub. It wasn't really anything interesting other than that Koji thingy. Here's an old jacket. Yeah, it's not. It's um, uh, it's all polyester. It looks to be very warm, but I don't see a brand name on it. So, I guess someone else can use that. All right, let's see. Should be done shortly. Straight Levi. Good thing is, it says 505. There's a lot of uh, Levi jeans here. I think I went through uh, probably about 10 of them. Okay, what is this? Looks like a cape. Kimono Tiger Claw. Ah, it's better than the others. Not sure if. Uh... Oh, the pants too. Oh, look at this. Okay. I'm strong. from the store and never used it. Okay. Well. Taekwondo. Jido Kwan. of it. Alright, now second let me get the last box. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right here because it's getting a little too long and uh, uh, I'm gonna post another video which will be the last update of this uh, storage unit. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe or at least like if you did like the video. Otherwise, uh, I wish you guys are having a good day. Alright, take care. Bye.